we write the case cases for our domain name. Fine. We write the case cases for our new entity and the use cases that was get new case data. So now we will start writing our data layer. Okay. So let's create our new model on a data layer. We will create a freeze data model for this. Why we use a freeze data class? By using a freeze data class, we do not need to override two string methods. We do not need to override equal to operator. We do not need to create a copy with method. And we do not need to, we will also get the serialized and deserialized object of our plan. So these all things we all set by using a free data class. Fine. This will generate from a free set. So let's define our class new model. Okay, this will exchange our new entity. Okay. And we will use for this keyword in the context is like this new model. Fine. This would be a series data class. So we have to provide the annotation series. Okay. And now we have to import as a part. dot r for we also need to create a serialized object for that so we will also add this one this for this is my value means model dot j dot dot means model dot j dot dot this is the syntax and this is the syntax so we define our class new model we obtain new syntax and this is the syntax of to create a free data class ok fine let's create our constructor for this class const special constructor okay. to a special constructor of new model class Okay. Uh, this will take a list of parameters so which we can get from here. Let's copy this. Okay, let's replace with required and we will replace this with comma. Okay. So fine. Now let's define our another constructor. That would be a main constructor. That should also be a text, but that will also be a technical structure. That's the main model or from JSON. Okay. This will take a parameter of mass of size, scale, and dynamic. This one and this will return this will new model. Okay, and this will return something like this. Fine. Okay, let's make it constant. So now we will. Generate our command for that. So let's say for run that generator command. Dot run to run play and then we come to run this. This will create a file for us. Okay. So what the error is? The missing can't be missed. Okay. Main model. This name will be from this. Okay. This will take a this one also. Yeah. So we created a new model class that is new data class. We extend our new entity and we created our from this one and from this one. Okay. 
so now let's come on our repository layer inside repository layer we will define our class new repository implementation okay that will explain our new repository we have to provide the information of our interface okay fine so let's define our new data source class let me define our abstract class new data source okay in this class we have one method that would be uh get okay let's uh, define the create a class new data source implement we will implement this interface implement new data We have to override. Fine. So for this video, that's it. In the next video, we will start implementing this new repository implementation in the resource part. So that's it for this video. Thank you.